as a uh, flying fuying here a lot of people were wondering um, about the uh, how waterproof these cases are on these SJ4000 type cameras um, so I went ahead and did a test uh, since I have a hot tub I took both cameras out of course and put both sealed uh, with a five pound weight on the bottom of my hot tub for a day and no water got in there um, now since the uh, quality on both of these this one's a transport um, uh, let's see uh, 1080p transport there and the Turner G 1080p they're basically the same camera with different uh, manufacturer logo on it really um, this one has a different uh, intro screen when you when you load it up but that's about it they're really the, the same camera I've, I've noticed no difference between them so anyway um, that's why I'm just going to do the test with this. I, I, I actually tested them both in the water. I didn't see any difference. But um, just for, uh, you know, keep low on time, um, I'm just going to do a video on here. Um, worked out just fine. Uh, the only thing I, I had an issue with is if um, I had to take the video a couple times because when I went against a really strong jet, it would push the button in. These buttons are pretty hard to push in. So it's, it's a lot of pressure coming from those jets. Um, so it would turn it off. But on that, it was, you know, fine as you'll see. So anyway, um, enjoy the video.
right-hand side, of course. No water inside. As I said before, I did test this for a day-long exercise. Um, both containers in the um, water uh, with a five pound um, weight on it to see if um, if it leaked at all without the cameras inside of course but yeah um, seems to be pretty fine um, yeah let's see what it sounds like again I close the lid